so how did you meet? How did we meet? Uh, years ago, I had a, a business in uh, Green Hills, and I lived in a, a condominium on, uh, gosh, honey, what was that? Eisenhower. Eisenhower Condominium, yeah, across from Club Filipino. Every morning, I used to go jogging around uh, the mall, Green Hills Mall, Vera Mall, and one day, I was running, I was coming around the Mr. Donut, and I ran into this beautiful woman. Uh, <laughs> More like slammed into you her. You bumped into her. Well, you no, know, I stopped myself because I came around, she was wearing a, a sweatsuit and she had her Ray-Bans on, and I came around and I, I was able to stop and run around her. I said, excuse me, I, I actually posed because you don't see a face like that every day. And uh, I thought, I kept running, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna catch her on, the, on, my, on my next run. I'm gonna find her. She wasn't there. So I kept going, and I, every morning I was out there jogging, and for two weeks, I looked for her. I would go out and look at her, and I didn't see her. I didn't see her, and uh, but it was about two weeks later, my office manager in the same building where I lived had an office. The manager said, uh, Sir, tell the Coronel's in the lobby. And I said, Who is Hilda Coronel? <laughs> I had just lived there a few months by then. And she says, She's only one of the biggest stars, actresses in Philippine history. She says, Sir, you should talk to her. She likes your product. And she wants to know more about it. If you could get her to endorse your product, it would be very good for business. So I came out, and when I saw her, I almost fell down. I said, wow. I didn't say anything to her, of course. Very composed. Yeah. Very cool. But in my mind, I was thinking, my gosh, I finally met you. <laughs> but we, we wound up doing business together, and I don't mix business and, and Pleasure. We don't mix it. We, we became friends first. It was years later before anything happened. Uh, we'll manage, you know, and, uh, that's and how we met. You know. And you have been married for 13 years? Yes. So, and, uh, so tell us the secret of your marriage. For each one of you. Yeah. Me first? Yes. Uh, the secret is... Friendship, you know, I said we were friends. We're friends, you know, I mean, we always do everything together, I think, and we always talk. The secret is, I love her. Yeah, the... From me. From uh, first and foremost. Yeah, I love her, I respect her. I... Uh, I really, I really believe in God. And I believe that God put us together. So I work at that. I, I, for me, I always think of her. When I'm at work, I text her. We always text each other every day. She tells me I'm, I'm at the store, mm -hmm. I'm cooking, and, um, you know. We, my nails, I'm doing my nails, and I'll send him the color of my nails. <laughs> you know, he'll ask, what's the color? Huh? Stuff like that. It's still things that we, we do it. Also, I'm grateful. I think that the key is every day when I wake up and then I see her lay beside me and I thank her. That's how I start my day. Before I sleep, I give her a kiss and, I, and I'm grateful. I say, thank you, God, for another day with you. And, and I think that's a very gratitude. Very good. And she's a wonderful wife. My goodness. She is very emotional. She's very caring. She's expressive. She, she, uh, her cooking is, <laughs> she's the best cook in the world. <laughs> My gosh, her, her Filipino, uh, you know, I put on so much weight now. <laughs> now I, 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 like I, I love Filipino, and I have to tell her how to stop this. Yeah. But, but don't stop, stop, but don't stop. Stop, but so don't stop. Bad. I like so good. <laughs> yeah, I call it bad, but so good. But you're into healthy living, you both look good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, well, we want to live a long time. And 
so both of us, we take care of each other. We take a lot of uh, different uh, vitamins, herbs, supplements. We watch our diets. Uh, we're bad organic, sometimes. Organic. Once in a while, you yeah. know, once in a while. But mostly we do wash. We do a lot of juicing. Organic, organic. Yeah, I'm so proud of that. I'm so, when I watch your movies, I'm the one that cries. <laughs> He's the one who cries. <laughs> I sit there and I go, uh, Honey, why are you crying? Yeah, she's, I, 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 I was, uh, during, uh, when we watched, uh, when we were in Canada, mm, yeah. when we were watching Manila. Was, was that the first time you saw it? Yes. I was going with this. Oh. Because okay. see, I'm in a tuxedo trying to make <laughs> it. It was just uh, so powerful. All of her movies I see. It's young. Oh, the first time. I, even now when I see it's young, it's very... Uh, emotionally disturbing to me to see her cry, you know, on the screen. It's, it, it, it kills me. It kills me sometimes. But I still cannot believe that you don't know Hilda Coronel, the actress. Back then? Yeah. No, yeah. I didn't. No. I had lived, I, was, I grew up here. I was born in Oregon. I had never, I've been to the Philippines when I was eight on a vacation, and I never watched single Filipino movie in my life. When I got there, and since I met her, you bet I, I know her now. I know who Hilda <laughs> yeah. Coronel is. It was all over, like in the internet, and in the YouTube, I knew, I'm gonna hear like, it's a dialogue from somewhere, it sounds like me. And he's like watching something, what are you watching? Just, why are you watching Bits and pieces of the Lima, old films, you'll find it there, it's funny. It's on YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> which I think is YouTube. a disservice. I really think it's a disservice <laughs> because it's, Terrible quality, terrible they quality. chopped it up into little pieces, 10 minute segments. But for me, at least I'm able to see. see. Mm -hmm. But I was so thrilled when I got to see Manila. Beautiful movie. And Lena broke it. My gosh, I wish I could have met it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really do. Thank you. And now let's talk also about the time machine. You went through the time machine yourself? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Look at him, look at his skin, bro. <laughs> it's beautiful. He's got beautiful skin. You know what? I, I have to admit, I, I was a little bit apprehensive. I, I said, you do no. it first. I said, I don't want to Actually, do you said, no, don't think about it first. Remember, you said, think about it first. I said, no, I'm going to do it. You are like doing that, you know? Yes, I, uh, and then there's a certain macho thing, you know, guys, yeah, we like don't, I, you know, you just don't, guy just doesn't want to do this thing. But you know what? Once I did it, I've had two time machines on <laughs> Because I thought, you know, what happened? I went to work, and people started asking. They said, are you having a good month? <laughs> and I said, no, no. Are you are you, what is it? I said, was it because I lost weight? Finally, I realized they were talking, say, Rob, you look younger. Oh. So then I started telling them about Don and Tess and giving the cards. Some of our employees even yeah. gone to Don and Tess. I'm yeah, really excited about it. Why not? Why not look yeah. younger? Uh, I'll tell you, I'm 60 years old this year, and I, I don't feel 60, and now I need to take more care, better care of myself. Because when you look younger, you say, well, I wonder how far back I can go. <laughs> it's like Benjamin Button. Huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> you go back. No, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Dr. Tess. I had no yeah. Yeah. We are fans of chess. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you.